Hello everyone and welcome to the Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist and let's see what happened in the world of tech in Korea from the last week of October. To lead us off, Owls Corporation and Motions Cloud sign an agreement for joint development of vehicle management AI technology. Owls Corporation announced that it had recently signed a technological joint development agreement with German-based company Motions Cloud. Through this global technology alliance, the two companies are expected to establish a 24-hour response service system for the supply of two-wheeled vehicles using AI technology. Han sung -woo, CEO of Owls Corporation said, once this global technology alliance and our own ERP module development are completed, we will provide more professional and stable services. He added, I expect we will be able to expand our business areas by supplying and managing various types of mobility services in the future. Next up, Altera signs a partnership with PG&E to offer AI wildfire detection solutions. Altera, a company specializing in image recognition AI, has signed a partnership with PG&E, or Pacific Gas and Electric Company, the largest power company in the Western United States, to supply artificial intelligence wildfire detection solutions. Through this partnership, Altera will supply its AI wildfire detection solution, FireScout, to one-third of all high-definition fire surveillance cameras operated by PG&E across California. Jim Ridgway, an official at PG&E Hawk, or the Hazard Awareness and Warning Center, said, with artificial intelligence, we are able to more efficiently manage fires that can threaten the company's electricity and gas assets. In the demo phase, Fire Scout has detected several fires ahead of the information sources that we had established on our own. For our third main story, Christian company chosen by Naver attracts 3 billion won investment. Christian company, a fashion tech startup, announced that it has attracted additional investment worth 3 billion won from the Korea Technology Finance Corporation, Korea SMEs and Startups Agency, Hansei Yes24 Partners, and CNT Tech. Christian Company is a startup that has built a data-based shoe manufacturing platform, Shinpo, by converting more than 120 shoe manufacturing processes into one digital platform, the company succeeded in reducing the production period by up to 90% and manufacturing costs by up to 50%. Yimin Bong, CEO of Christian Company, said, Despite the recent difficult situation in the startup's investment environment, I am delighted that the value and vision of Christian Company has been recognized. He added, We will advance into the global market while also growing into a representative company in the Korean market that innovates the footwear industry by upgrading the platform. And for our final main story, Institute Pasteur Korea and Songnam City join forces to nurture talents in the biofield. On the 24th, Institute Pasteur Korea signed an agreement on the operation of a biofield talent cultivation program in the mayor's office on the fourth floor of Songnam City Hall with Ji Young Mi, head of Institute Pasteur Korea, and Shin Sang Jin, mayor of Songnam. In accordance with the agreement, Institute Pasteur Korea will operate a job experience program for local middle and high school students and a biofield internship program for college students. Ji Young Mi said, I am delighted to have established close cooperation with Songnam City for the common goal of nurturing talents in the biofield. As global institute in Songnam City, we will continue to contribute to nurturing future talents who will lead the biohealth field by providing education and training programs with their capabilities in the infectious disease field, 
advanced technology, and multinational human resources. And now let's move on to our news briefs of the week. Crafton holds the first admission ceremony for Crafton Jungle to foster software talent. Crafton held the first admission ceremony for the software talent training program called Crafton Jungle. A total of 49 first year trainees selected as the final qualified applicants will start training at Seoul National University's Shihun campus for five months until March of next year. They will start at the basic level of computer science, eventually experience high level operating system projects, and develop and launch their own team projects. Next up, We Made Play announces third quarter results. We Made Play announced its results for the third quarter of 2022, with consolidated sales of 33.5 billion won, an operating profit of 670 million won, and a net profit of 4.07 billion won. In the third quarter, the operating profit decreased by 80% compared to the same period of the previous year, but the sales and net profit increased by 20% and 26% respectively. Operating profit and net profit in the third quarter turned to the black compared to the previous quarter, and the combined sales for the three quarters of this year were 101.8 billion won, the largest quarterly cumulative sales in the past eight years. And finally, SK Bioscience and Hilleman Laboratories join forces to research and develop a new vaccine platform. SK Bioscience has signed an MOU for joint research and development of new vaccines and platforms with the Hilleman Laboratories, an international nonprofit research institute. Through this agreement, the two organizations agreed to closely cooperate throughout the entire vaccine R&D process, including basic research on new vaccines, selection of candidate materials, manufacturing process development, and clinical research. The aim is to resolve the imbalance in vaccine supplies for low and middle income countries. Hilleman Laboratories will focus on research and initial process development, and SK Bioscience will make use of its world-leading capabilities in process development and commercialization. And that's about it for the Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you next week.